That so, rental, you know, man. Whatever. I want new carpets yeah. in my apartment. Yeah, I know you've been rolling. I've been seeing it. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, knew I it the whole were, time. I, I didn't know you were saying hurry up so we could start or what? Yeah. Oh, is that what that meant? Oh, we're they rolling. were rolling. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just saw her like, yeah. yeah. That means like wrap it up. So I was like, oh, let me wrap your little this. story. Yeah, up, let huh? me shut up. I'm trying to get new carpets in my apartment, and I was like, uh, cause my my apartment carpet is dinge yeah, city, and I'm just that like, carpet's trash. Oh, so I'm like, yo, can y'all come in here? And because I've been in that apartment since 2013, and I know they have a thing where if it's like seven years or something, they replace the carpet. Yeah. So they told me they'll do it. I had I wrote them a letter, a handwritten. Oh. You, how's, your, how's your penmanship? Um, my print is good. My cursive is trash. Yeah. And so I wrote it in. A, I don't even remember what I used. Anyway, so sent that letter in, and they said they do. I, but now I'm thinking like, where am I gonna put all this stuff? You know, because they said they're not gonna move the stuff for you. You got to do it yourself. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I basically got to move <laughs> into a moving truck till they can do that. Yeah. Well, whatever carpet though, I want to pick the carpet color because I want something dark and, and yeah. non dingy. Even even if it's not as dingy, it always looks super dingy on camera. So I'm just like, yeah, man, let me get this carpet. I want hardwood, but then like you're upstairs. No. Oh. And so they was just like, ugh. I want that hardwood, but I get it. Only thing I hate about hard, I like hardwood. Only thing I hate about it is if you don't have slippers or sandals, that's it's a wrap. Your yeah. feet are either cold or hurting, yeah, or from walking barefoot. But other than that, I like it. it's easy to clean. Mm-hmm. That's Just, the key. I'm like, yo, give me that hard because they get hard. They get hardwood downstairs. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to be in an apartment downstairs. I'd be looking in their window like, man, that could have been me. <laughs> that could have been me. You know, so. That's where we at, man. But anyway, we back, man. Yeah, we are back. Daddy um, issues. You see, you Christmas know. Christmas break, I guess you want to call it. Holiday break. Holiday break, man. It'd be long, man. You yeah. Know, the, the the Christmas bleeds into the New Year thing, and right. then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we back up in here, man. I visited family, uh, finally. January is supposed to be my month off of, you know, traveling. And such, and then I traveled again to see family, but it was cool, man. It was uh, that's not like stressful travel, though. Oh, family can be stressful, yeah. Like, family can can get annoying <laughs> fast, and uh, you know, so it, you got to tread lightly, you know. <laughs> and my mom, man, she she's she's dope, but she cranky, man. Crank city up in she that, up, she up there, in man. Man, the crank, you know, and it, it's funny, like. My mom and my brother, it's like, uh, I don't like bothering people when I go to their house, even if it's family, friends, whatever. I just, you know, I don't want, you know. And, and, you know, my mom is so hospitable that one false move, she's like, what you need? What you what you need? What you need? I can get it for you. So we be in the kitchen, like, you know, opening the fridge. What you looking for? What you need? And like, no, nah, I got it in there. Because, you know, we got this in there. And then it's just like, just, yeah. just you know, chill. Relax. I get anxiety because you know I don't want y'all doing stuff on my behalf. So yeah. I just be like, I got it. No, what you what you need? What what's going on in there? Sabrina was trying to tiptoe. She was in there cooking. One falls move. What you need? What you looking for? Like, oh, uh, do you <laughs> do you talk quieter when people do that? Uh, I notice I do that. Like I'll I'll go really yeah. Like I'll I'll completely shut. Like if I'm I, like the person's house we're staying at now. Yeah. Yesterday, Cody was like. uh come over to the house because we're uh-huh. having dinner. And I was like, well, I was just going to watch the game in the pool house. Yeah. And when I walked in, I told her, thank you so much. You know, I was uh-huh. I was proud at that point. Yeah. I was like, thank you so much for having us. You're saving it, you know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, you want something to eat? I was like, we're, we're at the plates. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> like, I just like, can I just get a fork and then I'm going to go back in the room over there? Please, thank you. I just need one spoon. Because, I, you know, and my mom and my brother, too, be super on it. We went to my brother's house tough. We was over there because he had the, he had the long sectional couch. So we oh, was yeah. doing, and it was video game city. My nephew got every video game known to man up in there. <laughs> so it was just like man. So we got we got caught up. We was crashing over there, unshowered yeah. for a couple of days. <laughs> we was just over there, and then my mom was like, "Y'all done left me over here." I'm like, no, nah, you know, it was just you know the you game, the, the space, house, you know, and so. Uh, I was just like, ah, oh, you know, family's just trying to, you know, spend equal time here yeah. and there. It can, it can be stressful when you're the one visiting. I'll just be like, just let me just, you know. 
Uh, he said he wasn't showering for a couple. Man, days. it was like two days. We was just because we we crashed over there unexpectedly. Yeah. And then it was like, man, let's just let's just. What's stay I'm laughing because over the holidays, and I'm very like I'm clean, McGee. Yeah, but over the holidays, I had a couple times. Yeah, man. I was man. like, wait, how many that's days? when you truly vacation. Yeah, I was like, how many days? When you ain't even been? showered. That was in the same outfit for three days. Because I, I was skipping the gym. Because mm-hmm. I was just eating, having a good time. Yeah, with the family and stuff. And I was like, I looked up. I woke up. And I was like, I think I yawned or something. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's time. It's right. time, man. I, I was bird bathing. It just, <laughs> that was it. I, was, I stayed on the bird bath. But I was just like, I was chilling. I was like, this is what I wanted. You know, and so uh, so I got that little bit of, you know, rest and relaxation. And then as soon as I get back, man, it just be nonstop stuff to do. When, when can we meet up? Can you do yeah. this? Can you do that? I'll be like, yeah, yeah. So as soon as I got off the train yesterday, it was it was nonstop movement, and you know it's pretty much gonna be all week, cause I'll be here in the studio doing these, and, and then the other podcasts, and then the movie reviews, and then got a BT thing tonight, and then the show tonight. And yeah, he like, hit me. Man, and I was like, I fly out tonight. My nose is bleeding. I think I, I can't. I'm still trying to decide if I would rather be busy here or be gone busy. Uh, I still haven't. Fi- I, I still haven't figured out which one I like more, or which one I would rather. I feel like I get more sleep going. Gone busy. busy, right? Yeah, because like here, I gotta get up in the morning. Like for this, I had to get up, and I was like, uh, that snooze button was getting. Because I feel socked. like when I'm when I'm gone busy, I just have one thing to do that. Day. Mm-hmm. When I'm here busy, it's I'm I'm email it's te- and I'm like, all right, I gotta. It's. I feel like my schedule is more like it today is. is today's hectic. Yeah, and I got to fly out tonight, and I didn't want today to be hectic. And errands, yeah, kids stuff. You, it's a lot, man. The errand run is, is epic. And I got to get a new. My bag busted on my last trip, so I got to get a new bag. And I was supposed to do that yesterday. Yeah, but I didn't have time because we was getting stuff from the house mm-hmm. to do get to her house. And I was just like, I hate here busy. But like yeah. when I'm there, I don't have nothing to do with the show. Right, the gym, that's it. Yeah, man. Emails, you know, but emails is. You yeah, know, that's that's, that's nothing. Can, but, you, uh, can you be here? Yes or no? You know, this right. amount of money, boom, boom, done. Because it's like, uh, as soon as I got back, I was like, all right, man. And my manager hit me. When can we meet? I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> can we just talk on the phone? <laughs> you know, can we just talk on the phone? I don't get meetings in person. I just don't. It's unnecessary. Like, yo, we we can meet up face to face and talk about what we could talk about on the phone. That's basically what a meeting is. Sometimes. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's visual work. Things need to be signed, whatever, whatever. Oh yeah, I get that. Yeah. But if it's just a conversation, we can we can have yeah, that. Yeah, like let's meet at a coffee house. For what? Yeah. When I gotta spend money to drive here, spend money while we doing this. The then, coffee's on me. Uh, they'd be like, ah. The are you, are you sitting on in the lift too? I'm nah, still driving. Nah. Yeah. The like list on me. They give you everything you need just to get you there. Yeah, I feel like, why just so they can like look in your this? eyes. But yeah, man. So that's where I'm at. Sincere so came on the trip, so that was fun. Uh, spent time with the son. Serene so was working. I was like, man, you be working, man. I went to the, the grocery oh, store. Oh, the he whole time you were saying sincere. I mm-hmm. was thinking. Serene? Serene, just because. Yeah, it was sincere. He went. Serene had to work, so he didn't go. So sincere went. We was gaming it up. It was a good time, man. Good time to be with the kids, man. You know good, what I'm saying? Man. I felt like a dad again. I felt like I can be on daddy issues. <laughs> Even though he don't have no issues. You know, he's he's smooth sailing McGee. I feel you, though, because I stand at my mom's for that long and just being. And then they've gotten really into, uh, not him, but uh, Keelan has gotten really into FaceTime. Ever since their last visit, my with my brother's kids, my nieces and nephews, mm-hmm. they've been like Buddy McGee. Yeah. So now every day is like I want to call cousins. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. they'll get on the FaceTime and call each other, which yeah. I think is dope because right. like yeah, they get that bond, mm-hmm. that relationship, and it's just funny because you know one's three and one's four, mm-hmm. and them conversations are so stupid. What they be talking about? It's just is. all they do is they be like, hey. Hey, and my nephew is la- he sh- he talks at one volume and uh-huh. I'm screaming. That's it. That's yeah. all. He- so he's like, "Hey, you you coming over? Yeah." He's like, "Ah." And Keelan be like, "I don't, <laughs> I don't know." So that. then, like, they was talking, and all they do, they have all the same toys. Uh-huh. So they'll before they even call, they'll set the toys up. Yeah. In the screen, <laughs> that'd so be the opening shot. Yeah. So the then the opening, they'd be like, "Oh, I got." 
Black Panther. Hold on, I'll be right back. And he go get his Iron Man. He's like, oh, look, I got Black Panther. Hold on, I'll be right back. And he's going to go get his. So by the time they have the conversation, all the Avengers are out, laid yeah. on display, and they just kind of talking through the Avengers. <laughs> so then they'll just start saying, like, silly stuff. So Keelan, you know, hit him in his butt thing. He's always talking about butts or booty yeah. or something. So he said something about butts. And then my nephew said something about he had to pee. And then they started saying poop. And I was like, all right, guys, take it easy. <laughs> they were running out of steam. Yeah. I was oh, like, you got to pee? Because when you pee, you clench your yeah, butt. Yeah, and they kept, they kept getting more and more. I was like, all right, guys. And then I didn't I don't know what my nephew said, uh, but all I heard was Keelan go, oh, yeah, well, watch this. And he farts. Oh. So now they're having a fart contest mm-hmm. via <laughs> via FaceTime. So I was like, all right, guys, shut it down. Yeah. You know, that's enough. You guys, are, you're talking more gross. You're farting. Right. Like, I'm trying to eat. You're farting. Yeah. Like that's, First of all. That's enough. Then the time. So then here. my nephew goes, poo-poo. And Keelan goes, hey, dad said that's enough. Okay. So... He was like, well, I don't want it to be enough. Oh. So then they start arguing. Yeah. He said, that's enough. No, that's enough. <laughs> so they're having a full-fledged argument uh, through the phone. And finally, Keelan just goes. <sighs> so he just, <laughs> the, the thing was here. Uh, he just slid under here. He just slid down. <laughs> <laughs> but then he just put his hand up so you can see it on the screen. He was just like. He just gave him the finger wave. And he was just like, I'm out. And I was like, what is wrong with y'all? So they was arguing and fussing. But then call each other, like, all, that's all they do is call each other. And then Keelan can't call him. He'll call my brothers and want to talk to them. Or yeah. He just be, he be calling people. He on their phone. He be calling people, want to hang out, and then they just, I feel like in the last three weeks they have just gotten, first of all, the fi- the wrestling and the fighting, I understand because I have brothers. Yeah. But from the parental side, I'll be like, knock it off. Man. Like, that is all they <laughs> do like every day 24 hours a day it is just push fight punch yeah. keelan punched him in the neck the other day kendrick gave him a combo because he was mad because he took a sword like they just and then they be playing then they be laughing then they mm. be playing and it's just like that was life when we was kids the wrestle the play fight that's all they do i remember the serene sincere they used to go at it then they try to include me in on it and yeah. i get in it for a little bit i used to use to see as a shield for Serene. And then, uh, you know, they get older and they start, you know, sports, video yeah. games, and they drift off. My nephew, man, he, like, you know, I pride myself in being pretty good at fighting games. And, like, you know, Injustice too. you know, if y'all some gamers out there, you know, you can get this work. I played my nephew in Mortal Kombat, the new one. He was oh, giving yeah. me that serious work. We got it. That serious work. I was like, man, I, I got him a few times, but I was like, man, let's play Injustice so you can you, you can have fun, you know, because yeah. it was a challenge. Man, he was working me over, and they got every toy imaginable. Man. Yeah, I put their rooms on social media. They got every. My my brother is a good dad, man. Like he he be he got a good relationship with those kids. It's like you and you can tell there's a. There's a friendship there. Like when yeah. they be talking, they, they got inside jokes. My nephew is 13 now, and my niece is six. Yeah. And uh, shoot, she might even be seven, six, kindergarten. But uh, it's just a good, it's a good flow. I'm just like, man, man, good job. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I text them that uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before. Man, you a great dad. He was like, thanks. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm sick of everything, man. So they they got hell and stuff. Man, it just got stuff galore. It, my brother's house was cozy, man. It was just yeah. like, man, it just makes me want a house. I had to come back to my little dingy two bedroom apartment. The house next to us is for rent. How much? They're asking thirty three hundred. Oh, I'm out. I am out. <laughs> thirty three hundred. How many bedrooms? It's three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, two baths. You know our neighborhood is a nice neighborhood. Man, I listen, I went when we were in Clovis, um, uh, went to my brother's girlfriend's house and she had like a four bedroom, technically a five, they made another room into a bedroom, technically five bedrooms, huge space. I was like, How much you paying? She was like fifteen hundred. Oh I my God. vomited and my eyes bled when she told me that. Fifteen huh. I'm moving to New Mexico. I'm gonna just move to Albuquerque and just fly here when I need to. That's the only way I get my money's worth. I bet you could get them down to three, and it's rent control. Nah. 
Three thousand, man. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's, that's too much of a boost for me. That's that's way more than I pay, and it, I have a four. Man, it's just I, I'm moving. I'm moving to New Mexico, and I'm gonna just fly out, fly in and out, because it, you know, for for what I pay now, I can get a nice house in Albuquerque. In Albuquerque, it's stuff to do, you know. So Santa Fe is a little bit more pricey, you know. As you go to Santa Fe, Taos, you know, Oprah territory. Julia Roberts, Shirley McLean, they got properties out there. But like, yeah. man, oh, I threw up. I was just looking at stuff. It was this house I always liked in Clovis, New Mexico, for like years. And I was like, man, that'd be a dope house. I could. There's this one house. It's, it's it looks like it kind of goes into the underground. I was I could afford to live in that house now, but it's, it's Clovis. Cause you know, so I'm like, man, but it it was cheaper than what I'm paying. Yeah. Here, no, I just threw up. I was throwing up all week <laughs> just looking at the price. Because whenever me and Sabrina drive through neighborhoods, she'll go on the internet Zillow. and look up yeah. how much stuff is, and I'll be like, "What?" And I'll just be looking like, "Oh, throw up city, man, disgusting." For people not in LA, the housing market probably has increased about fifty percent over the past ten years. You think the prices have gone up for rents like by fifty percent? Have they? I that I would guess that because when I first moved out here, I was looking at two bedrooms for like fourteen, uh-huh. and now two bedrooms are gonna probably minimum twenty one hundred. So. Uh, yeah, they didn't raise my rent since I've been in there. I went from thirteen ninety five to seventeen fifteen, and like since twenty thirteen, so it's just. Uh, that's not even that bad. For it's Burbank. a good deal for Burbank, but it's still disgusting. Burbank like when I look price. at what I'm in, I'll be like, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Knowing I can get better somewhere else, you know. It's like staying in a relationship where, you know, we just doing the best we can, you know. And then you go and then you see other people and be like, Man, how you, how they treating y'all? Good. Fifteen hundred a month for all, all that, huh? And I got a black eye. Man, I'm sick of it. What's going on on that laptop, man? What's well, happening? Well, I gotta ask you, mm. is your Christmas tree still up? No, nah, we never put it up this year because of the cats. Oh, okay. Because we knew they was just gonna be. Just Mine gonna is, be. but I ain't been home. Yeah. So, but but best believe, if we put one up, it will still be standing. My strong. mom took hers down the next two days after. Dang, she didn't I, even I wait till out, New Year. I flew out the day after Christmas, uh-huh. and Cotty took the kids to my mom's house. Uh-huh. I mean, to her mom's house. And then she was like, this tree is coming down. Yeah. Immediately. Like, right. But the tree was for the kids. Like, they loved it. Like, yeah. They was all, excuse me, they was all, you know, all over the trees and the mm-hmm. present. Uh, this is the first Christmas I actually uh, had a weird, like, feeling about it. Because uh-huh. I walked by the tree the day before, and it was so many gifts under there. You yeah. know, it was it was my family, my mom and her husband. Uh-huh. And his kids was visiting, too. His two kids. So it was a lot of people in the house. So it yeah. wasn't like it was all ours, but it was so much stuff under there. And I, I told Cotty, I was like, I kind of feel bad. I was like, I feel good on, on one half because this is the most I ever bought any of them for Christmas. Like, right. I bought everybody's stuff, all kind of stuff. And even Cotty was like, growing up, we didn't have Christmas like this. And I got her a hell of stuff. Yeah. She was just opening gifts. She looked like a kid. Uh-huh. And they had, their gifts wasn't, you know, they action figures. So that right. didn't cost nothing. It ain't like I was splurging. It yeah. Was, it was easy buys. But I was like, I feel bad because they just have so much stuff. Uh-huh. Like, they have so much stuff. Yeah. We have so much stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it's people right now that's like, Christmas is a oh, sh- they ain't got trash nothing. season. Yeah. So it made me like, I was like, next year I have to do like a adopt a family, something. I was like, this is, I, I'm happy I'm able to do this for right. my family. I get it. But I felt so bad. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. lo and behold, I went to my, I, I'm in Bakersfield. I met up with an old friend and he's, he does a, uh, he's starting a nonprofit. Uh-huh. For Christmas next year, yeah, he's got, he got the paperwork in file in Bakersfield. I said, All right, "Well, let me come do the to raise funds or whatever. I'll yeah. come do the show for free." And okay, he was like, "Yeah, well, I was like, I want to do something, so that's yeah. what I'm gonna do with him. We are gonna partner up, do this thing." Okay, I was like, "I'll bring people with me. Don't pay us not Don't well, me. I can't speak on them. Right. I was like, "I'll come do it for free. We'll raise the money to do this to because he adopted a family this year. He was like oh, it was wow. the greatest feeling. He was like, I want to do more. I was like, All right, well, let me." Yeah, be involved and do this stuff because I just felt so bad. I yeah. felt good and I felt bad at the right. same time. I get it. And I was like, "Damn, mm-hmm. there's a lot of struggle out there, man." Yeah, so much. And they got my cousin is having a baby 
whatever. So she went in our garage and went shopping. Yeah. And she was like, you guys have two kids and three strollers. <laughs> Why? And I was like, I don't know. Yeah. We just had stuff. So she was able to get, she went through our garage and grabbed everything. And then we had enough to where she could keep stuff at my auntie's house, which is in Bakersfield, uh, and then take stuff to her house in Texas. Okay. So she has a stroller there, a stroller here. So I was like, yeah, take all of it. Yes. And all of it was like high-end stuff, too. Uh, so it was like all the brand, like... She was like, this stroller costs a thousand dollars. I was like, yeah, take it. Y'all had a thousand dollar stroller? All the strollers. The total cost in the strollers was like three grand. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What are they strolling in? They were like the brands and they Bentley's? had all the they had the freaking, you know, with tires where you can run and tread through high game God, and all like bless America. What's going on out here in Strollerville? All, we had all kind of stuff. So she was able to get that. She didn't pay a dime. We were like, take it. Keeping in the family, whatever. Did they have a heat and cooling system? And they had uh, it had cup holders, and, engines. Yeah, it had cup holders and Jesus. gadgets and covers. I did and, not know the stroller the stroller game was like that now. Yeah, because you know back in the day they just had the regular strollers oh, with, the, with the crappy wheels. Yeah, it was like an umbrella with wheels. Now the the strollers got bike tires pretty oh much God. and all kind of. And we were we just had three of them, and then we had. Several car seats because they grew out of there so fast, yeah. and all the car seats were like the super expensive ones oh, with man. all the extra padding and you know. So Y'all just trying that. to keep the kids alive, huh? So sick of they, yes. But the thing with our family, our family's so big and everybody's so close in age, we just share stuff, right? So it's like somebody buys it once, yeah, and then it just yeah, gets it like my couch is from my mom's cousin, well, my second cousin's house because she had a four bed. You helped me move it. Her house. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, She had all that stuff in there, and she right. only stays in one bedroom. So we took her other bedroom set and the couch, get cashed out a little bit. Exactly. So we just do that stuff in our family. We yeah. Just, my that mom, was good stuff, too. Yeah, my mom wants a new couch. We was like, if you get rid of this couch, we'll take this one, yeah. put it in a guest room. Like, we just... Somebody buy something, and we everybody just share it. Yeah. When, when the whoever got the most money at the time get new stuff, then we just trickle it down. Like, well, I'll take that's beautiful. <laughs> I'll take this. That's beautiful. We don't throw nothing away. Yeah, we just recycle everything. That's great. Yeah, it's like why pay for a new why? one? Why? Especially when we're the only young. Like everybody, I'm the oldest grandkid, and so everybody else is beneath me as yeah. far as age. So these they don't do my mom and aunties. They don't do nothing. They all 50, yeah. 60. They don't. They ain't using that fur, that furniture. Is, <laughs> When they get something and it's old, uh-huh. it's brand new. They ain't touched yeah. it. They ain't that you know, you know, people got the freezer in the house and then uh-huh. the one in the outside. That yeah. one in the garage. That ain't getting touched. It ain't getting used. That's a brand new fridge. Yeah, like, man. I no way in tech. Yeah, I had you had it for five years, but it ain't Hand ain't nothing wrong. Yeah, give me that. Well who bought the strollers? Who put the, the money on The strollers were from I one was from this. Cotty's mom. Uh-huh. One was from Cotty used to uh when she, before she got this job, she was uh, just like house sitting for people, uh-huh. or uh, and or nannying for people, and the people she was nannying for had so Bread. she would get stuff. Gotcha. Like we got you know the, with those cured coffee makers. Yeah. The expensive. We got the yeah. free. We got. Oh, she. Man. We was just. Oh, we Come have up. two of these. We don't. It's all that stuff. Like we yes. get a lot of stuff, but it's other people's hand me downs that ain't used. Yep. So it's that's good how, quality. Yeah, that's how we get down. And so my and then my brother. We'll come pick through my stuff when I got stuff that's still in the packaging or whatever. Mm-hmm. And be like, yeah, we'll just, we, we, we got no things. shame in the hand-me-down. Oh, we man, got listen. zero shame. Listen, I don't even know what shame is anymore. <laughs> I don't know I'll what it is. It. I don't care. If these are unused, um, when you be calling me, you want the, yes. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. Yo, man, I got, you know. If, if somebody went through my closet and they was in the shoes, oh, they, they would have a field day I'll in my be closet. Because like, yeah. it'd be shoes I wore and I'd just get tired of them. And I'd be like, I ain't even really like the way they look. You know? yeah. They just sitting there still, you know. But I usually take them down to my friend's house. Um, the place I used to hit, uh, we used to serve food to the homeless down in uh, downtown L.A. Mm-hmm. And... Um, Tiffany Rose has a great organization, and I just take it over there because, especially like socks, socks. They need a lot socks. of people don't know that homeless and man, that's for They need socks. The socks, and I went through my sock drawer. It was mad socks. I ain't even probably wore one time. I was yeah. just like, let me take all this. So I'll take they need a whole socks bunch and they need jackets. They need stuff that's gonna keep them warm. Mm-hmm. People like to be like, oh, I want to get. They need socks. Yeah, man, them socks is crucial. And yeah. it's a. I feel like socks. It. Because people be like, I never know how to help. Socks. Socks. Mm-hmm. You, you don't. It's not like you're breaking the bank. Right. You just get a couple of packs of socks, mm-hmm. and you you did your part. Mm-hmm. You benefit a bunch of people. Yep. It's a win-win. 
I they try to get the colored socks. socks. You know, because, you know, if you if you out there on the streets, times is hard, man. Let's get you some black socks. Just to hide the yeah, dinge yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, better, yeah. you know, because yeah. the white socks, you breathe on them. Yeah. Oh, dinge. So, man. Uh, also, w- with me, with Christmas this year, it was just so, it felt so raggedy in terms of, like, the gift give, you know, I got stuff for the boys, of course, and then because I really couldn't think of what to get them because I was like, what y'all want for Christmas? They couldn't really think of nothing. Yeah. I was like, man, y'all must be good. Then. But even you that's a live. blessing in itself. Yeah. You can't, you can't even think of what you – Cotty was like, what do you want? I was like – I was like, I'm good. I was like, you know. And so uh, Sabrina, she she's good with coming up with gift ideas. So why don't you get them? Like, Great idea. And then I would just go get it. And then – um. And I, then Serene's birthday is like right after Christmas. It's like January third. So I'm like, "What you want for your birthday?" He was just like, and he still got a lot of ticket and court trouble. So I was like, "All right, so how much you owe in tickets? I'm gonna just give him a grown man gift and yeah. cover the ticket costs. Yeah. And then if you screw up again, that's on you." That's a great gift. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a grown man gift. That's a like, dad. Look. That's a parent gift. Like, yeah, I'm gonna help you I out. I told him I was like, "How yeah. much? Is, give me the total, and then I'm gonna pay that all, so you can get all this crap out the way." That's a dope yeah. gift. He'll appreciate yeah. that's that. That's a lot of money mm-hmm. in L. A. When you man. get older, though, that is how gifts start going. Like you start what you about, need. What do you here. need? Yeah. Yeah. What, it's not about like a luxury item. Right. Like, what do you what need, you, need right you, now? You know, you know what I mean? I need a new seat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like that's, the gifts become more what you need. Right. And so I was more on that tip. And so I take them to court tomorrow to see what's up. And uh, then, shoot, I didn't know. I thought I thought I, was, I thought sincere school was paid for for the year. He and me were like, yeah. Oh, I was paid for the semester. Man, it was just a semester. Damn. So I had to give him like, yeah, five grand. I was like, what you need on the, <laughs> what you I need? Like, well, I thought I already paid. That was just for the semester. I died inside. Yeah. I was like, uh, so That's now I'm going bad. back. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. For, a for me to be sitting on for the couch. For a college, it's not. But for him, he, I, don't, I don't have nothing invested in this. <laughs> for me to be sitting on the couch and getting hit with 5000 that's a whole lot. I, was like, I think that's why I didn't want nothing for Christmas this year, too, because the needs were, yeah. were met. We paid off both the cars and, mm-hmm. and got the house this year. Yeah. So the needs were done. Right. So I was like, I don't want anything because I, I all really i really care. be caring about is bills yeah and and trying to set them up and be comfortable right savings and stuff like that so mm-hmm. when that stuff is getting taken care of right i'm fine like that's I don't, how i feel i don't, I don't want you know shoes and clothes and I don't, you know whatever mm-hmm. plus my clothes don't cost a lot right i'm like yeah, deals yeah. mcgee yeah I'm deals i just got six shirts for 25 dollars. that is just ridiculous <laughs> I'll be, I'll be finding the deal. I'm shook though, man, because taxes is coming. I'm yeah. getting the W nines in the mail now. I'm like, man. I'm I know to, I'm old this year. I'm about to get shredded. So I'm just like, I'm scared to spend now. I yeah. put actually put money away last year, man. I know I'm old. I know it's coming. But we have to, like, we we kind of have to do this to. I gotta. I have to make more to be able to do the stuff we want to do. Yeah. So I already know each year is mm-hmm. if I could break even that'd be cool, but I'm probably gonna have to, you know oh. because I gotta I just I just need to not if it's less than last year, I'll be grateful. I you your guy messed up last he year. He did that was man. ridiculous. That that was ridiculous. I was like, Oh, please. So I'm trying I'm going to a new tax guy. Yeah, my guy's see good. What's up. Cause I can't do that. Again. But everything you do is for work. Like you travel for you mm. only work all day long. Yeah, so right. Like all your bills. Everything. Pretty much for work. Yeah. Even even if you be. I like, was putting everything I could. I mean, it is for the business. Yeah. Everything, everything I could. I was. You got to incorporate yourself too. I was. I did that. I was like, look, I can't do that again. I'm doing. Uh, my boy just told me he does his shoes, and he was telling his guy, "No, there's certain shoes I only wear on stage." Yeah. I don't wear these around. I was like, I'll be doing that too. I'm writing oh, yeah. them off. I got a, a truckload of just stage shoes. Yeah. Like, I got a show tonight. These. Yeah. You know, I'll be in the same Adidas when I'm traveling or just roaming around. Usually be these or a, a different pair of the same kind. Yeah. When I, yeah. I roam around. If you ever catch me in the airport, I'm going to be in some running shoes. Mm. And that's it. Yep. Unless I'm wearing 
my shoes because I didn't want to pack another bag. Yes. So I will put on the shoes that I'm going to wear. Yep. And then. Just to have room in the bag. Just to have room in the bag. But I don't. Most of the time you'll see me in some just running shoes, walking shoes. And I only dress up when I'm on stage. Mm-hmm. I don't even really dress up when we go somewhere. And slides McGee. Yeah. Unless it got cold. Like if I was going to a cold city, I'm like, oh, I can't do the slides. But man, them slides, super comfortable. Yeah, I'm really, I'm I'm a minimalist. Man. I don't like bringing, if it wasn't for merch, I would bring one bag oh. on every trip. Merch is just, ugh. Merch, merch is my luggage. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, I would have one bag mm-hmm. every trip. And it would be a carry-on. Yep. It would be a carry-on bag. I would wear my jacket, pack shirts and jeans, drawers and socks. I'm done. That's it. I will work out in the same shorts every day. Because I wear the I same care. outfit to roam around the city in all Me weekend. Me too. Mm-hmm. I'll just be like, hey, all right. Smell the shirt. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the streets, same shirt. Sweats and the hoodie every day. The college tuition, that's not tax deductible? I think so, yeah. Okay, so that's a yeah. lot of your income Man, for the past year. Uh, man. I'm just like, oh, God. I thought I was good. He'd be with that. I'm like, yeah, the money's due. I'm like, what money? Oh, your kids is grown too, so you don't get any of the breaks either. Right. I get the house break. The kids yeah, break, I don't, I don't uh, get, get all those. They under re, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, man, listen. I'm yeah, sick hopefully of you it. got. Last year, when you said that, I was like, what? what 16000 Like, what did he do wrong? He hit me with that in that office. I just sat there for like a cool five <laughs> minutes, disintegrated. <laughs> I'll see you next time. I was a skeleton. Oh. Anyway, what else is going on, man? Well, the big family news, as I'm sure you guys have seen all over everything all the time, is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle mm. have decided to take a break from the royal family. Yeah. If you are in his position, mm. you know his life because everybody knows his life. He's grown up over right. on TV. Would you have done the same thing? I feel him. He said, I'm not going to go through what my mom went through, mm-hmm. so I'm out. Plus, don't nobody want to be there when you all y'all do is be racist towards my wife? Like, why Why I want to be a part of this? Mm-hmm. And then the paparazzi and all that, y'all chased my mom, killed her. Like, no, I'm out. I, yeah. I, he never. He was probably you, disenfranchised with the whole thing. If you follow, before like, Megan. what, yeah, mm-hmm. if you follow his history, he always has kind of been checked out. He, he don't care about it. He was just like, but this was just, Megan was probably like, we ain't got to do this. He's yeah. like, this is my out. Yeah. I'm, that was the icing on the yeah. cake. Mm-hmm. His marriage was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sick of y'all. And he's just, he just, yeah. he never really cared like that. And he even, he did an interview. And he was like, this killed my mom. Like, no, I'm not. Yeah. Well, he said, mum. But, you know, he was like, I'm, I don't care about Yeah. That. He was already. And out then of the there. nerve of them, though, to be upset about, it. like, y'all treat my wife terribly. Why, yeah. why, <laughs> why would I want this? Right. Yeah. I feel him. <clears throat> but I, you know, I knew uh, he was already out of there. Because, you know, if he was still in, he would have just stayed in, you know. Because men, when we really want something, we just stay in it. Mm-hmm. And then your wife be like, well, well, what about me? Look, this is who I am. <laughs> this is who I am, you know. And so, But he was already out of there. So I, I respect it, you know what I mean? If you were in her position, mm-hmm. knowing what the royal family was, would you have ever married him? Nah. I'd be like, it's too much. Well, it worked out. They out. Yeah. It's worked out so far. It could have it could have went left, you know, depending on you know how he handled it. But mm-hmm. I would have been like that would have kept me at bay. I'd be like, nah, I can't do all. And plus, you know, I got my own thing going. I don't want to just you know. I still want to act. You know, do my little career. That's just how I would I would be. Like I would. She just wanna... she just signed a big thing though, didn't she? I don't know. I don't know what she knew. She signed. Did the you like voiceover work morning. or something like that? Yeah, when she signed something with Disney. Oh, yeah. okay. So financial, yeah, they was like, so I, I'm wondering, they've been setting this up oh, wow. for a while. That's mm-hmm. dope. That contract just didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah. So she was like, I got, we'll be fine financially. That's you know, dope. Yada yada yada. I, we're out. But he had money from his mom. Exactly. So his mom was loaded. So they just been probably sitting on this. Yeah. And then was like, we out. What you gonna do? We're fine. And financially independent to them is millions. Yeah. yeah out exactly. the gate. Like it's not like they're gonna be eight hundred dollars a month in an apartment trying to get out a new here carpet. in Korea town. <laughs> like, yo, man, we just trying to make ends meet. You know, it's it's a different type of setup. So they good. They be good. So we're probably not gonna ever be in this situation. Most people aren't gonna be in this situation ever. But mm-hmm. 
How far should a normal person go to please one spouse if it pulls them away from their family? Like this might be moving cities or leaving the family business, attending less family functions. Like where do you think, how far should you go if you've legally married someone uh-huh. to accommodate them? Right. It's case by case. Yeah, it just depends on the it's situation. Not a, there's no blanket answer for that one. I, w- I wouldn't want somebody to completely uproot what they got going for me. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like that kind of pressure you know what i mean like i moved out here for you like, I know, I, you know I, I don't want that on me yeah you know and you know some families are trash and they treat your you know who you're dating like trash a lot of times for no good reason yeah like you know uh and, and when you start to run into that you got to kind of put your family on the grill and you know uh, and if they just keep with the bs you gotta be like all right look man i ain't coming to no more family functions because y'all are just trash yeah like if you if you come up in a racist family and they oh you're dating that black huh that i'll black? never she'll never be allowed then you gotta kind of yeah. all right well you won't see me then exactly and you know, i know and a that's a people, valiant cause yeah, yeah. it's valiant because it's that. ignorance <clears throat> but when you get into stuff that's more like uh you know gray like mm-hmm. you know, like um, they may not like. They may feel that you're who you're dating is a manipulator, or you know, they might not be on the up and up, or they kind of shady, and you know, they cheated on you once, and then you get that rift between the family and who you're dating. That happens a lot, mm-hmm. where you know, sometimes we don't date the best people, and so you got that whole dynamic. And sometimes the kids cut off the family. For for a shady individual, then when they get torn torn to shreds, then they try to come back to the family. And I'm petty. You know, if I had a kid or somebody, oh, look who's back. <laughs> now that you got your heart torn to shreds, no, 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 keep that same energy, you know. Really? No, yeah. I, I would still, you can come on back, but yeah. you you going to hear the pettiness. Yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm jab you. Because <laughs> I'm going to be salty breakfast. by that. Like, you know, you... You you dissed us. You, you chose a side. You chose the wrong side. Now you want to come back to the solid side. It's like you gonna have to fit. You gonna have to get on the grill. I wasn't gonna mention this today, but I did watch a story, and I wasn't gonna mention it because it happened in like 2000. Mm. But this girl, 14 years old, faked her disappearance uh-huh. for like five years, and her parents thought she was dead. And she was just like living down the street in her boyfriend's closet in Australia. So I was going to ask you. <laughs> this is so dumb. I was going to ask you. She eventually called up her parents and she said, um, I'm not dead. Would you have welcomed her back? Why, at- why does she feel I would have been dead? like, yes, you are. You did to me. You did to me. Yes, you. What the? I would, I- is this a ghost on the line? <laughs> there would have been so much anger. I probably would. Probably couldn't have had that conversation right there. Why would he, Why did she fake the death? Doing, why are you doing this? It seemed from the story, this is an Australian girl, and she ended up marrying this boy, but her boyfriend was 22 and she was 14. Oh. Her parents had just divorced, uh-huh. so she had home life issues. Uh, and then no she just she disappeared, but then two years later they pinned it on a serial killer and oh there was God. a search for the body and so forth and so on. I was like, well, this happened so long ago, I, I probably won't even bring it up. But then I was like, well, her mother said that she was very angry with her daughter. And her daughter was not angry with the mother, of course. But I, I was wondering, would you have welcomed no. her back? No. You know what she put those parents through? That's... You know what it feels like to, to believe Ooh. your kid is dead? They had to sit in that for years. My oh. child is murdered. And then to have you, you was just down the street with Chilling. your boyfriend? I, they, I, I I don't think I can come back from that. Yeah, I hope your parent. relationship work out. Cause I, I don't think I can recover from yeah, that. I would never trust you again. The amount of pain you caused us as parents, we we y'all you that's were murdered. Not like, that's not like crashing the, the family car. No, that's, that's a lot. We sat on your death for years. Some parents never recover from that. Like when they lose a child, that's yeah. it. They're they're done. They're walk. They're the walking dead out here. Yeah. And then me on a financial tip, I'm gonna be pissed about the funeral I paid for. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, we probably wouldn't the funeral if they never found the body. <laughs> Well, they had maybe a memorial service. That, yeah, I think that there cost. was a memorial. They had a searching for her body, and they pinned it on the serial killer who had ki- killed other people. So, in the girl's defense, she didn't come out the gate saying I was killed by a serial killer, or implying it was years before they pinned it on a serial killer. 
Ain't no girls. But why is she? Yeah, why would you do that? Like, she was 14 at the time. So? I just was asking if you. Th- you ain't an recover. excuse for everything. That's a lot. That's a, that's that extreme. No, you that's ain't bailing out of this with. You, you, I was young. No, hell no. Hell no. To fake a kid, that's a lot. Nope. She did marry the man eventually. Oh. Well, I hope it, like I said, I hope it worked out. I Stay wish with y'all ass. the best. You, her mother brought her back in the home. She's a better woman than me. You wouldn't bri- bring your own no, child No, you're done. Be dead again. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm used to your death. People disappear all the time. They just up and bounce, you know, and they. I need a more valid reason for the disappearance, though. Because the reason you gave, and you may not know, but like it was just too, like the, the parents divorced, this, that, and the third. I need more than that. The girl. Like, were the parents abusive? Were they, you know? 14 year old girls fight with their moms. Uh, but was man. it that unbearable where you had to fake a kidnapping? That's ridiculous. It was, oh, because she knew that. They wasn't going to allow her to date a grown man? Is that what it was she all about? She was the hell out yeah. of that. She sounds like a brat. Too. She just sounds like a big-ass brat. Trash. You want to oh, let me date oh, who I want? Okay, I'm going to He's 22, I'm 14. Anguish. It's yeah. love. Nah, man. She did seem like, just from the interview, maybe she wasn't the brightest person, and that could also be because she left school to live in a closet for you five think? years. Yep. Missed out on education. I'll leave the interview in the in the sec, um, the description below so people can. Oh, Trash. I don't think I can recover from that. Nope. Sorry. So if you're if your son, if one of your sons had like one of these people in Japan where they just go missing, the pressure is too much for them, Uh and they just bounce because they need to clear their mind, and they leave for five years, Uh ten years. If they no contact, no contact, uh, out cold. No. That's just ridiculous. Especially if I was like a, a solid, legit parent. Mm-hmm. Like if it was something I was doing, then I would have to. But if I'm just being a regular parent, not applying the pressure, not doing this, not doing that, and you just do that for that long with no contact, I mean, nah, man. Okay, what if they had, and this is not based on any news story whatsoever, I'm just saying a scenario. Uh If they had accidentally hit someone with their car, Uh and that's why they bounced, because they were afraid of the repercussions. So they killed somebody. They killed somebody accidentally. Well, you know, that's a a valid reason. Yeah, they panicked, but just leaving, her reason isn't valid. Mm-hmm. Her, yeah. She was being a brat and took it to a, a, a level 30. Yeah. Because now, you, now you avoid jail time. I, I get it. Now yeah. I'm like, right. You on the run. Yeah. I might even sneak you. Yeah. Some, you Just know let me mean? know you alive. <laughs> yeah. Drop me Send a Send the signal over the radio. The AM station. 98.6. At 8 o'clock every Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> It don't have to be much. Just it's say the special words yeah. that only you and I know. Fruit <laughs> loops. Yeah. Oh, you know? oh, oh, there it is. But no, yeah, and I understand because when I was watching, I was like, I don't know if I could forgive one of my no. family members, but then I see the mother did, and I say, well, I guess not. I was I never mean, in that position. People be trash on the forgiveness tip sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like, man, that is a, a higher power to be able to forgive. Man, that's trash. I'm sorry with your little closet life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get with it at all. Nah. And in the community. Yeah, didn't you even was down leave, didn't the even leave the street. country in the community. Parents out here just wasting away. Trash. I'm pissed. Very, very interesting. Yeah. We have some questions from the yeah, audience. Let's do questions. it, man. I like the questions. Let's do it. Uh, Ace Yagi asks so Ace Yagi. How do you guys feel about tattoos on people you do business with? Does it change your opinion of them or does it make your job or does your job make it less important he's including me for this question no everybody got tattoos now first mm-hmm. of all tattoos are so common it's, it's more rare not to have any yeah tattoos ain't what they used to be. back in the day when we were coming up tattoos you was a thug like you was, oh, was just a straight rip yeah you was about that life tattoos now are just they're not they're absolutely yeah, everybody gets people used good. to judge tattoos because they did mean that you either been to jail you right. in the streets or you a rebel like that's what they use now, they just have them, so it's not the same judgment because right. they don't get them for the same reason. Yeah. Just like, no, I like Tweety Bird, so here's yep. here's a bird, you know. So no, nah, I don't. It care. depends on the tats. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you come in with a swastika right here on your yeah. neck, yes, we're not doing business, bro. Yeah. Or but, even if you got teardrops, hey, we got to have a conversation. Yeah. Like, what the teardrops? Are those real ones? Or are you were just trying to survive. Right. 
Yeah. Do either of you have tattoos? I have uh, two. I'm getting a third. I want to get sle- I'm debating. I want to get sleeved up and all that stuff, but I think I'm just going to stop at the third. I got mine seven years apart, so I'm not one of those people who are addicted to tattoos. Yeah. So I'm going to get their names on my left shoulder and birthdays, and then after that, I'll, I'll see. I don't have any. None? Nah. Any I'm, plans? Nah. I'm already. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late for me. Go on without me. But no, I don't have any. <clears throat> and I remember my oldest brother, he got tattooed in the 80s. So it was like, oh, oh. You know, my parents was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, 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 oh. We got like a dragon. And then, uh, you know, my brothers are uh, tatted up. Uh, I don't. You know, he used to know, you know, Sabrina sleeve, you know, and then Serene is Tad McGee. He just keep getting them now. And then Cecilia's like, ah, I'm not, I'm not into them. I'm going to show you my brother's, my <coughs> oldest brother's tattoo because it's the coolest tattoo. You tattooed? I am not tattooed. I don't yeah. have any you tattoos. You getting one? I know I feel plans to get one. I want, I want a sleeve on both arms. That's my oldest brother. He's your age. That's his back. Oh, this is dope. I never been into the back though. I one. never wanted a back in nowhere. But what I do want is a lot on each arm mm-hmm. and across the chest. And it looks like you got the Yeah, I don't want that's a lot. That's uh, I, that's probably I just the art. quality. Oh, yeah. the quality. Yeah. Yeah. I try too. Yeah. 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 That's great art. So it I don't just, even look like a back I'm looking at. Well, he's very tall. He's probably about your size. Mm. So he's super tall. Oh, mm-hmm. Man, I should have asked before I could show that pic- before I show that picture. Oh, oh, I had to, yeah. Maybe we'll not. Now you got to go live picture. in a closet for five years. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hide out. But yeah, it's about okay, it's about on. the quality. Yeah, but I definitely you know, uh, and you could tell like you know a prison tat usually or like gang related tat as opposed to just regular artwork and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no. You know, tattoos are just everywhere now. Yeah. Everywhere. So it's just like, all right. I don't even Matter of fact, I get more comfortable when I see tattoos. Really? Yeah, like if somebody like got a business suit on and I see a tattoo peeking out of them. Because you're not a tight ass in my, yes. in my opinion. I don't like tight asses. I feel like you a tight ass conservative yeah. if you ain't got no tats. <laughs> but if we I see one, we don't have any tats. But you kind of a tight ass though. Am I a tight ass? Yeah. I don't think I am. I. Because every time you say I'm a tight ass, ass, then you learn something about me and you're like, I never expected that about you. And I was like, yeah, I just don't care. You come off as tight. I do come off on purpose. Okay. I do that on purpose. And then the the no tats help it. Yeah. But uh, (laughs) on purpose, it's like, and scene. (laughs) Why are you doing coke right here in the podcast? I just didn't want people knowing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh man but like when i see a tattoo i'm like all right okay yeah if it's a racist tattoo i'm like oh yeah. but that's a great signal it's like oh we don't need to be doing business but i even like those yeah let me know let who me you know are. yeah so or who they were we could be who they, who but they you, were but you gotta get, you that, get that covered up yeah you gotta get it taken off just put hey it's for a good call you gotta get it yeah you gotta get that <laughs> taken off because oh, i've seen nice. people especially you know i live in a a very uh, Mexican-dominated community, and I see the dots on the hand and stuff. But I see some that they do try to take them off. Or yeah. you know, people be young. I get it. Right. You know, you do so, or you the community you grew up in is just like this is this is what we did. I never, my heart wasn't into it, but I this yeah. is what so happens all the time. And I see older like a lot of cashiers or whatever, and then you see the tattoos on the hands, but you could tell that they not about that yeah. life yeah. no more. They just like I was. I, was I like tattoos, 16. man. Mm-hmm. They inspired me to stay in shape, too. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. I feel like if you got them, you got to have a canvas for yeah. them to look right. Especially yeah. what I want. Like, the reason why I want that, because when I see football players and hoopers that have that, it, it looks dope. Like, it looks dope, but they're in shape. Mm-hmm. I've seen those same tats on, like, a biker with the gut and everything. I'm like, this, is, this yeah. looks disgusting. Right. So I feel like if I get them, I'll have to stay in shape to maintain mm-hmm. the canvas that I feel like they should they should look like. Right. And you could keep in good shape well into your seventies. Yeah. Eighties, mm-hmm. some people I see Like uh, your skin's gonna be trash, but the skin gonna do what it's gonna do. But you can still stay in shape. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the person, you know. Ernestine Shepherd out here bodybuilding in her early eighties. That's that old black lady? Yep. She looks oh, phenomenal. Oh, she mm-hmm. she looks phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. 
So it really, really depends. Mm. I have another question. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know if I should say his name. Why? Because this might come back. Oh. I'm going to say the question. You tell me if I should say his name. Okay. Like he put his name, but maybe I don't want to say it for his sake. Yeah, what question? I mean, he is. put it in the public. Uh, but, you know. You Did know, he DM or something? No, he no, no. He didn't. It. I'm just going to say the question and you guys will understand. Hey, guys. I have a daughter and I love her, but we're having a second one soon and I was not happy about it. I literally got sad when I heard the news. Oh, okay. Abortion is out of the question by the mm. mom and I'm not going to abandon my kid, but man, I don't want any more. I know the negatives, but I want to hear some of the positives about two, if there are any positives. Oh, Whoa. two is great. Man. Same same mom and in, in the yeah. Oh, are two? they close? Like how old is how old is oldest? He one? did not. He did not say. Two kids is great. Two kids. I like. I, this is ideal. Like now I'm done. Yeah. But the two they they play together. They like even though like I said they wrestling and fighting all the time. But like the looking out for each other, yes. the sharing, and the, the and I like, t so the kids that we're staying, uh, the family we're staying with, she mm -hmm. got two kids, mm -hmm. and they are two years apart, uh, but they're older, Yeah. and when I walked in the kitchen this morning and seen them making their own lunch and passing their stuff, yes. I was like, yes. Yes. The mom, mom was just getting ready for work. The kids took care of their damn selves. They two kids is great. Mm -hmm. Two is dope. Me and my they brother. Learn, they learn from one another. Because yeah. the older one learns, <laughs> like, you know, I got to hold it down. And then the younger one is taking those from the older one. It's just it's just a great dynamic. And, and plus, yeah. when you talk to people who didn't have any siblings, they all wish they had a yeah. sibling. Yeah. Don't nobody be like, bored. I love being only yeah. child. You know, they be like, harassing Like, yeah, they were the spoiled parents. and stuff, but they was bored out their mind. Yes. So, they, yeah, oh, they don't need me. Other than for food and shelter. As far as entertainment or whatever, they got each other. Yes. And they be like, we are fine. It's annoying at times, mm -hmm. but they. I'd rather them be fighting each other in yeah. the back, making all kind of noise and asking me 101 questions yeah. and following mm -hmm. me around the kitchen. Yeah. So two is fantastic. They yeah. do. So and that's they do a blessing, together. sir. Yeah. And you knew you, you knew you exploded off in that. Yeah, so I don't want to exactly. hear none of that. You exploded <laughs> off in that. You knew the science behind feel it. it. You yeah. know, you know what it, you know what it is when you explode up in that. Yeah, when you explode up in that, things can happen. Is the second one easier than the first? Depends. Yes. On the, it depends. For, I've for heard some people was. say the second. He was trash. Mm -hmm. it could, he oh, dope yeah. now. He's dope now. Usually, I feel like usually trash. you won't get two trashes back to back. <laughs> it's like if, if the first one was smooth, the second one gonna be, or vice versa. Like Serene cried a lot. Mm -hmm. As a kid, and then Cecil was like, "I'm good, I'm good," you know. He just cried, "Put me in the bed, please. Mm -hmm. Put me in the bed." I'm like, oh, oh, sure. So you know, um, but I feel like that comes with the with the multiple kids. Like, yeah. if you if your first one was cry McGee, maybe your second one would be like, ah, mm -hmm. fresh air. But two is two is a good time. Two, he'll yeah, he'll two be fine. Dope. Yeah. yeah. And they really just look siblings look out for each other. <clears throat> yeah, I would like I would like to know the age of it or yeah. his kid now, and then you know. And even if the kid is older, let's say he got a seven year old, mm -hmm. they gonna be second parent. They yeah. like they the older kids love the babies. Right, so they be like, I want to do it. I want to help feed. I want to. They feel like they're part of yeah, the process. Yeah, they be in. Yep. He'll be fine. He'll yeah. be all right. Yeah, and he exploded up in that. You know what it is. Well, sir, I hope you enjoy having. <laughs> hopefully, it's a second daughter because if you have two girls together, they can they can guide each other through things. Yep. Be together. At, I see these girls, uh, you know, at the skating rink together, uh -huh. and they're just you know encouraging each other the whole time, like yeah. two three years apart. Siblings like, are great, man. Siblings are dope. Beautiful. I'm glad I have siblings. Me too. I've been bored out my mind by myself. I wish my siblings were closer to my age, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it was still a good time. You have cousins your age, row, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But ain't nothing like the sibling, you know, your age. I always went to the school by myself and it was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? So it would have been dope if it was like a, you know, because Serena and Sincere, they would go to the same schools for a little bit. Especially here, once we moved to Cali, the way they started school, because you started a little bit later in New Mexico, then we moved here. So they were just a greater part, even though it should have been like two technically. It was mm -hmm. just a greater part. Like, yeah. That's dope. So, okay. yeah, man. All right, well, shoot. That's it. 
We out here almost for a full hour, y'all. I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah. Cool. Um, I've, been, I've been wanting to eat this the whole time. Oh, <laughs> you should have ate it. You know, we laid back up in here. Crunch on that mic. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Daddy Issues. Don't forget if you got questions for us, ask us in the YouTube section in the comments, and uh, we'll tackle them on the show. Uh, you can find us wherever you find your podcast. Uh, we're right there. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Tony Baker Comedy on everything. If you're in San Diego, I'll be performing at the Comedy Store January 23rd. One night only. One night only. So pull up, man. Pull up to the Comedy Get your tickets now. You know, I, I know there's a lot of people... They come see me. Y'all be waiting to the last minute. Can we get him at the door? Nah. That'd be black people's first question. Man. Can we get him at the door? And I get it because I don't like to fees. buy in advance because, you know, I don't want to cancel. Yeah. Because I had to cancel a lot. And I, I get it because I just found out about the charges they be the doing. Char- so yeah, the charge, yeah, the charge, yeah. So but I you get know it. what? Just do the charge, man. Let's, let's, black you're gonna people. you going to be mad if it's sold out. Black people, go. let's be more like the what? <laughs> they just buy tickets. Whether there's an extra <laughs> charge or not, they just make the per when they want to go somewhere, they just do it. And we need to get on that, man. Let's get it. Keon, where you at? Uh so my website, I've been active on it. I remember for a long time I'd have one, but it's Keonpoly.com and then that will take you to everything. And this year, guys, I've put more effort into my Facebook and my YouTube. Yeah. So go subscribe to those. I'm actually doing stuff on there. I mean, IG, y'all good, but I mean, keep going there too, but uh, Facebook and YouTube as well, and uh, Keon Poli on everything. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all, we, uh, we out.